It's Gerilyn. We are launching today Tulip and Tulip Thick in Chocolate. So exciting. This has been a much anticipated drop. Here we are, Wednesday drop for you. We are doing Tulip and Tulip Thick in Chocolate for you. It is available for everyone. Get them now. Today we're gonna do a wing application. I'm gonna combine both Tulip and Tulip Thick in Chocolate. So today we're gonna be doing Tulip, which has thinner fibers in 10, 12, and 14 millimeter. And then I put a 16 and an 18 millimeter in the uh, tulip thick, okay? So we're adding just a hint of volume, just a tiny hint of volume on the outer corners to really give that wing some oomph, okay? So say hi as you guys are jumping in. We are simulcasting from Lashify.com and going to YouTube and Facebook, or YouTube and Facebook. So say hi if you are there. Bev is gonna be in your comments. Come hang out with me in my comments if you're on Lashify.com or on the app, okay? All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna get straight to it because I'm so excited. So we all loved Tulip, right? Tulip gives us this beautiful, this beautiful construction. It's got fibers that kind of go in two different directions. So it ends up looking like the petals of a tulip flower. So pretty. And now you can get in chocolate. You can really see the color there. So fun. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're gonna do a wing, okay? Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. We're gonna do this application for you and answer all your questions, all right? So, first thing you're gonna do is you are going to prep your lashes with pre-cleanse. You're gonna get a sample of pre-cleanse in your control kit, which is our starter kit. Comes with everything you need to start using the Lashify system. You can put on a cotton round and just wipe down your entire eye area if you want. Or if you're wearing makeup like I do, like I am, and you wanna save your makeup, you can just put it on a spoolie or our fluffer tool and just run it through your lashes. That way you are removing any uh, makeup fallout that might be on your lashes that could interfere with your bond or any skincare products that might be on your skin or any, any oil from your skin, right? So you wanna prep well always coming in just make sure your lashes are super squeaky clean, okay? Coming in, and then we're gonna let that dry. So you can just hang out if you want, you can wipe it up. The starter kit you're gonna start with, we always recommend our control kit. I'm gonna pin it here for you. Did I see Daniela? Welcome, thanks for joining. I pinned it down below, you should see it right here down below. If you hit the control kit, I won't go away. You'll still hear me. Maybe you'll still see me. Um, and you can go check it out. Comes with everything you need to start using the Lashify system. Pick either A, B, or C, amplify, bold, or curl for your style. That's where we start you. These are the easiest lashes to use when you're learning to use the system. And then we have 20 styles all together that you can choose from to create your own lash looks, okay? All right. So we're gonna let that dry. Let's use our handy dandy blow tool. This is a nice extra tool. If you're looking for something extra, it's not necessary, but it can really make your life a little bit easier. Can help just dry things down a little bit faster. So in this prep step, we can get pre-cleanse to dry down so we can get straight to application. And then once we start putting up our bond on, you'll see this can also help speed up the drying time slash getting to the tacky point that you want on your bond, okay? Let us know if you have any other questions, Daniela. Feel free to take a look, peruse around the website, check out your options. Um, if you wanna check out, there's gonna be a little pop-up, like a little circle pop-up on that control kit page with Jill. You'll see Jill's face um, and she can walk you through. If you click on that, she'll kind of talk you through how to make the different choices for your control kit options as well, okay? So that's always gonna be there for you. Okay. So you're gonna get Whisper Light Bond in your control kit. You are gonna get it in black on one side with a micro mascara applicator. You're gonna get it in clear on the other side. It comes out white, dries down clear, comes with a pointy precision tip. It's the same formula on both sides. The only difference is the color, okay? So no cyanoacrylate, no latex, no formaldehyde. It is super safe for sensitive eyes. If you have sensitivities to other lash glues, you're gonna be great, okay? Always do skin patch testing, everyone's different, but for the most part, everyone that has allergies to everything else, 
loves Lashify. So I'm gonna show you how to use our bond. So we like to start with the black side. You can certainly only use the clear side if you want to. Again, it's the same formula, but I'm just gonna show you our official teaching method, okay? So I'm just coming in. I just applied the lightest coat along my lashes. You can pull it through the length of your lashes if you like, that gives more surface area for your gossamer lashes to stick onto. But if you have medium to long lashes, I kind of have medium length lashes and they, cl they clump at the tips, just stick to about halfway up your lashes, okay? And you're gonna see. Use a very, very small amount and just like layers of nail polish, we are going to wait between applications of bond. For a new user, I would say do your one light layer of, of Whisper Light Bond and you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait until it's tacky, about 30 or 60 seconds and I'll show you what tacky looks and feels like and then start applying your lashes, okay? However, once you start getting used to the application process, you're gonna find that you can actually layer your bonds. Again, just like layers of nail polish, right? When you wanna give good coverage, you come in with a thin coat and you let that dry before you come in with the next coat, right? Same concept with our bonds. Apply a very, very small amount, let it get tacky, give it time to really get tacky, and then you can always build up your cushion of bond and that will help give you a longer wear, just give more coverage to your lashes and more places for your gossamer lashes to stick, okay? Hope that makes sense. So let's check, let's check for tackiness. I use my fingernail and just give it a little, a light tap. I'm looking for a little bit of a grip, almost like a bubble gum like stick. I feel a little bit and no transfer of bond, of product onto my fingernail. If it's moving around, that means it's, that just means it's wet. So I'm gonna wait, right? If it's not transferring, that product is tacky, but it's not sliding. So your lashes won't start sliding when you put them on. Makes sense, right? So there was a tiny bit, a tiny bit of transfer. I'm gonna wait while that's getting tacky. I'm gonna pull my Gossamer lashes out. Again, we are introducing Tulip and Tulip Thick in chocolate today, and I'm gonna be mixing both the styles. This is a Tulip in 10 millimeter. When you turn over your cartridges, you're gonna see a letter and a number. T stands for Tulip, 10 is the length in millimeters, okay? So when you get your control kit, you're gonna get either A, B, or C, amplify, bold, or curl, and you are gonna get them in 10, 12, and 14 millimeter to start off with. So right off the bat, you get three cartridges, three different lengths to play with so that you can figure out how that looks on your eye. And once you have played around with a few applications, a few different lash maps, then you're gonna know how to go about your next order because again, we have 20 different styles for you to play with and mix and match. They come in different colors, different lengths. So this is where the fun of Lashify comes in, but the control kit is really where you wanna get started. It is simplified, it, is, it contains everything you need to get started, and then you can slowly build up your education, your techniques that you're using, and your lash wardrobe, right? Okay, let's check for tackiness one more time. She feels tacky and no transfer. I'm good to either start applying my lashes or I can build up my cushion of bond. So newbies, start applying your lashes, okay? We're gonna fast forward through these next two steps and you're gonna apply your lashes. If you have tried it a couple times already and you're getting the hang of it and you wanna start building up your bond, I'm gonna show you how that works, okay? We like to move over to the clear side. Again, you can stick with the clear or the black. This is just our official teaching method. I'm showing you what's called the frosting method today. So frosting is using this clear whisper light and just tapping it in along the base of your lashes because that's where, really, where we really want product. That's where we want the most adhesion. And then you can take either a flat-ended brush or our disposable tip applicators, turn it into a brush just by kind of smushing it, and then you're going to frost it up your lashes just like you would when you're frosting a cake, right? That way you're sort of spreading that bond up the lash again, gives you a little bit more 
surface area for stick and you're picking up excess bond that you don't need. This is also going to help dry it down faster. So maybe 30 to 60 seconds is a little bit too long. And again, do your tacky test. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. So I'm just going to give that a quick blow and I think it's going to get tacky really fast. I find also that when you're in a warmer space that the bonds seem to uh, get tacky a little bit faster. Okay, let's check. That was like maybe 10 or 15 seconds, right? Look at that. Look at that. Lashes are grippy. Are they, it's not transferring. So I'm good either to just start applying if I want, or you can do another frosting layer if you want. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. How have you been? Have you been doing anything fun this summer? Stay cool, I hope. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to frost again. This is another way to build up that cushion of bond. Again, it can add a bit of a stronger hold for you when you layer your bonds. Doing the exact same thing, coming in, tapping it in along the base, and using my flat-ended brush or my tip applicator to just frost it up the lashes. Do, 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 do. All right, let that get tacky for just a second. I know, you're gonna get excited. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna just put my lashes on right now, but better to wait. It is always going to work in your favor with Lashify to slow down during your application process. We find that most people either are applying a little bit too much bond and or moving a little bit too quickly and they might get them on really quick, but they might start sliding. So it works to your benefit to wait so that your bonds get to the right tacky point, okay? We have some great tutorial videos, like short videos on how to tell when your bond is tacky as well, but I'm showing you, I'm showing you as well. There's no trick to it, really. So it's all sort of tactile, try it, go based on look and feel. Also the clear whisper light goes from white to clear when it's ready, so you can watch it. All right, so that's tacky. We're gonna apply our lashes, are you ready? We're gonna use our Fuse Control Wand. This is a patented hand-tooled instrument. Lashify has over 280 patents worldwide. So this is a brand new system, which is why we include so many amazing educational tutorials to teach you how to use these brand new things, right? This is the first lash to be designed to be worn underneath the natural lashes. So it's very different. This tool didn't exist before Lashify. So you're gonna take some time to get used to maneuvering, holding this new tool, the, the fuse control one, to pick up your lashes and get them where you want, okay? Take your time. Again, give yourself the time and space to learn. You're gonna look down into a mirror. You have a slightly magnified mirror in your control kit. I recommend putting that down below you so that you can see what you're doing and you can even use this free hand if you need to kind of lift your eye, okay? So I'm gonna look down into a mirror. I'm gonna get kind of close so you can see what's happening. Scooping so that I go underneath my natural lashes. You can start wherever you like. I prefer to start on the inner corner and I've tried a bunch of different ways. Look at this grip. This is why we wait for our bond to get tacky. Otherwise, if we go too fast or we're applying too much bond, we're gonna get sliding. Lashes might get clumpy and that, that lash is not gonna stick on, okay? And then if you've applied a little bit not enough, that's okay, you're just gonna add a little bit more, right? It's gonna be sort of like a, a hit and a miss, it's not gonna catch, but see that Velcro-like catch? This is what we want and this is how you know that you bonded well and you're getting good adhesion. So that was a tulip in 10 millimeter in chocolate. We're gonna bump it to a 12 millimeter. I'm just gonna go right next door. Feel free to overlap your lashes if you like, but you don't have to. It's really personal preference. Again, really nice grip. Don't be afraid to really push that lash into your lashes so that it hooks right on, okay? We are wearing tulip and tulip thick in chocolate, 10, 12, 14, tulip, okay, the thinner fiber, and then uh, 14, 16 in tulip thick, just to add a little bit of volume and a little bit of length on that outer corner for a pretty wing. So pretty, right? Look at, you can see that really beautiful chocolate tone against the black background there. 
Okay, so that was a 12 and love how it's got that little center gap in the construction of the tulip lash. So it gives you this sort of wispy, like very length look, which I love. It kind of breaks up uh, the volume of the fibers. So, you know, for those of you who want a little bit more of a natural look or a wispy look, look at that. Look at how pretty that looks. And that was a 14 millimeter in Tulip. I'm just going right next door, applying one next to the other. And again, looking down into a mirror, I think is gonna be key to getting a good view of what's happening and good placement. We're applying one to two millimeters away from the wet line. So we're always applying on hair, always applying onto lash never onto skin. And you actually want a little gap between the top of your wet line here where your lashes are, are growing out of your eye and where the spine base of the gossamer lash rests. So here's a hot tip for you for getting a good gap. Use the tip of your fuse control wand, turn the points away from you and place that at the top of your wet line and it should fit between top of the wet line and the spine. Easy. So that's how you know you have enough of a gap. And that gap is super important for a few reasons. It's great for making sure that they're comfortable because when you apply Lashify, you won't feel it. You won't feel a thing. They shouldn't be pokey. They shouldn't be uncomfortable at all, okay? And then when you apply them correctly with that gap, they are going to last longer. If you apply too closely, that moisture from your eyes can get drawn up and start breaking up your bond and they might start kind of getting wiggly, right? Also, the most important part of keeping that, that one to two millimeter gap at the roots of your lashes is it makes sure that your lashes stay healthy while you are wearing Lashify. So that little, little bit of gap allows your lashes to move freely while you're wearing the lashes, there's no pulling, no, no tugging that could cause damage to your natural lashes. And it just makes sense, right? I think with this system, it's the one thing that maybe takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you have worn like strip lashes in the past. With strip lashes, we put it straight on the skin, flush with the lash line, right? This is a little bit different. As a professional makeup artist, it took me a little bit of time to get used to that concept. But as soon as I started measuring for that gap, like I showed you, I had no issues with longevity. I read you shouldn't touch them if they're wet. Yes, yes, that is absolutely right. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that wing. That wing just completed this look for us. Becca, I will let I will I will talk all about how to wash your face in just a second. Great question. Okay, so this is chocolate tulip 10, 12, 14, and then tulip thick in 16 and 18, just to add a bit of volume to that length. Thank you, Bev. So now let's talk about fusing because fusing is key to making sure that your lashes stay on. So you can work the whole time with your wandums on. These are silicone tips that go over your fuse control wand, or you can go naked wand. Completely up to you with the tips. It helps reduce stickiness because you're working with that bond that's gonna stay nice and tacky for quite a long while. It gives you a really nice long working time. Again, no need to rush. It might be a little bit cushier and more comfortable to maneuver with the wandums. So try it. If you take them off, you'll probably get a little bit more precision, but maybe a little bit more stick, okay? So I'm just gonna move a little bit, a little bit slower. I'm gonna show you how I like to fuse, try it, play in different ways, and you're gonna find what works best for you. I like to turn the wand upside down. This is our reverse fuse position. You're always going to apply pressure on this center bump to ensure that it closes all the way. Full horizontal clamp force, was what this tool was designed to do. So I like to do reverse fuse, and that way I'm able to use the tips to get all the way down onto the spine base and fuse my natural lashes to the gossamer lashes. Look at that, full closure, really clamping it down, and because I left that little gap at the roots of the lashes, this is a very comfortable fuse. There's no pinching or clipping. I'm only fusing down on hairs. Really nice and slow. Give it a good fuse. You can do another pass if you feel like you need a little bit more. 
so, sometimes some people like to come in on the inner corner like this. I follow the bridge of my nose and come in and do that inner corner sometimes. So this is very versatile to use for every eye shape, every contour of your face. Then what I like to do is move to a full fuse. With the full fuse, you're gonna follow the curve of your eye. I do like to put the bottoms on at this point, but again, play, do a, different, a bunch of different ways of fusing and you're gonna find what you like, okay? I like to do a full fuse with wandoms on. This is gonna follow the curve of my eye. One arm goes on top of my lashes, one arm goes under my lashes. I settle the wand to the base there, and then I close fully, and I hold that for about 10 or 15 seconds. You really wanna give it a good full fuse, because this is how your lashes are gonna stay on, okay? And then if you get a little stickiness, that's okay, just slowly blink it away. Oh, so good, let's do a little, a little extra fusing on this side. Sometimes we have two different eyes and they hold the lashes a little bit differently so you can, you can tweak things to make sure that you get good symmetry. And even if it's not perfect, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. So pretty, look at this. This is, again, this is eight, 10, 12 in tulip in chocolate and then a, no, sorry, 10, 12, 14 and then 16, 18 tulip thick. A little bit thicker, a little bit longer on the outer corners for this cute little wig. I just wanted to show you all of, well, not all, most of the length. It does also come in an eight millimeter length if you love a shorter lash or if you want something shorter for that inner corner. But this is what I love about Lashify. It looks good from every angle. Check out this lash cleavage. Hello, lash cleavage. She's so cute. So pretty. Even the under cleavage is great. <laughs> And even if it's not perfect, no one's gonna no one's gonna notice. No one's gonna tell. Love her. And there's no heavy band sitting on top of my of my lid there because nothing's sitting on top. Everything's underneath. It just blends in with the natural lashes. So pretty. So so pretty. Right? I love it. I love tulip for a wing. I the way that these fibers just it, it really lends well to doing a beautiful wing. A lot of people were saying too, like, you know, they, they, they kind of want the lash to kind of come back. And I think this is one of the best lashes to give you that sort of complete lash look. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is that we're leaving out a few of our natural hairs on this inner corner, as well as the outer corner. These are my natural hairs right here. If you go too far out, it can be uncomfortable and you might not get as good longevity. Our inner and outer corner lashes tend to be a little bit weaker, a little bit more sparse. So if you bring in your placement by just a few hairs on the corners, it'll be a much better application for you. More comfortable, better wear, okay? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, last thing that comes in your control kit is glass. Sort of an optional step. This is your water resistant sealer. Give your lashes about 20 or 30 minutes to dry down, especially if you've layered your bonds. Okay, before you come in and seal, again, just like layers of nail polish. And when you're ready, you've got this little ball end that I like to use to give it a quick swipe across, maybe two. And some people with maybe watery eyes like to do inner and outer corner, just a little, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Some people love top and bottom coverage, so you can apply a tiny bit to the inside of your wand with the wandoms on. And then you can give it a full fuse. And that way you have top and bottom coverage. Very, very easy. That's it. And then you're done and then just don't touch them. So let me come back to your question. I think Becca, Bev answered you. Cool water tends to be fine to splash onto the lashes. And always, when your lashes are wet, just don't touch them. Because the bonds are flexible bonds that never harden, it will always stay flexible. It'll dry down, but it will always stay uh, pliable so that you get this nice, easy, flexible wear to keep your natural lashes healthy. In hot water and steam when you're showering, it's okay if they get a little bit loose and that's quite natural. If you don't touch them, let them dry completely out of the shower and 
that usually that's fine. Sometimes you don't need to do a thing after you come out of the shower. If you feel like you need to fuse them, just wait until they're completely dry or if you need to do a little touch up, just wait until they're completely dry and you're fine. So how do you wash your face? Bev answered your question here in the comments. So what most of us do is we wash our face at the sink. So I like to use our microfiber cleansing cloth, our black magic cleansing puff and that way at the sink, and that way I have control over my cleansing products and the water. I can clean around my eyes. I can get pretty close to my lashes all the way around. You just don't want your oily products or even like your micellar waters to get too close to your wet line. That can break up your bond, okay? Um, and then you'll, you're gonna take pre-cleanse, which is our lash prep. It doubles up as a cleanser for cleaning around your lashes. So let your lashes dry. You're gonna come in with a Q-tip and just clean along your lash line. This will not disrupt your bond. Clean along your lash line, it'll clean up any makeup. You can get underneath as well to clean really well. You can clean through your lashes with pre-cleanse as well, okay? So that's how we ensure that we're keeping our lashes nice and fresh. So good, I'm glad you asked that question. All right, you guys, go get your tulip and tulip thick in chocolate. This is so pretty. Again, this lash map is Tulip in 10, 12, 14, and then Tulip Thick in 16 and 18. I'm gonna take some pictures for you and post them in the Lashify Life Facebook group. Go join us in the Lashify Life Facebook group. We have over 122,000 members in there, and we're just having fun. We're talking about Lashify all day, every day. Bev and I are in there, the entire Lashify team, including Sahara herself, the inventor of Lashify, she's very active in there. Very unusual for a CEO to be chatting with her customers every day, but that's what we've got going on and it's very special. Haley, hello, should we remove lashes every night? You don't have to, no, this is the beauty of Lashify. Um, it's up to you as well. So a lot of our customers are about, they, they prefer like a five to seven day wear, but we have people who prefer less and some people who wear them a bit longer. As a new user, we recommend that you try just doing like a, a day long application, put them on, just kind of practice about three times. And then once you've gotten the hang of the process, cause it's very different, how to bond, how to place, how to fuse properly, then start trying to see if you can make it through the night, right? just because there's a little bit of learning because it's a brand new system. Some people get it right off the bat, for, for others, it takes a few times, right? By about application three or four, we find that most people hit their stride. It's your first day, Haley, so exciting! Which uh, lashes did you get in your kit, Haley? I'm so excited for you. And have you joined the Lashify Life Facebook group because that's the place to be. If you aren't already obsessed, we're, we're gonna get you even more obsessed. This is a place where you find a whole, whole friend group of enablers. Fair warning. <laughs> am I wrong or am I wrong, Bev? Haley, so if you have Facebook, just uh, find uh, search Lashify Life. There's two questions, just request to join. There's two questions to answer and then um, an admin will let you in, okay? And then you're gonna have so much fun because Lashify is fun on your own, but it's so much more with friends. It's so much more fun with friends. Hi, Lori, we are doing uh, Tulip and Tulip Thick in Chocolate. So Tulip in 10, 12, 14, and then Tulip Thick in 16 and 18 for this cute little wing. We add a little bit of volume with the Tulip Thick there. I wanted to show you as many sizes as my eye could hold. There's also an eight millimeter that I couldn't fit here. I fit five on my eye straight across. So, and everyone's a little bit different, right? Amazing. All right, you guys, this was so much fun. Stay tuned for more lives from us on every platform here on the website, uh, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, inside the Lashify Life Facebook group. And if you have questions, come join us, hang out in the group because we're chatting about literally everything all day, every day. Enablers galore. I know it's amazing. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time.